Fantasy and Color podcast. Your two favorite art brothers are back. I'm Rob Ayala. I'm Kadeem Phillip. Honorable mention, Christy Ayala, always lurking, In the hardly background. ever working, In creeping. The <laughs> that, was that was so petty. <laughs> Crumbling up papers mm-hmm. and shit. Crumbling up the foil. So what's good, man? Ain't shit, man. Today feels a, better than last few days. Been a crazy fucking week, right? Hell yeah. <clears throat> Everybody knows what's going on with the whole Nipsey Hustle um incident situation. Hustle Very unfortunate. Man. That shit is some bullshit, bro. So uh, we don't have. A, we already know. Everybody already knows what happened. I mean, mm-hmm. anybody with a phone at this point. Pretty much, unfortunately, the way so, that shit gets out in this society. You know, we were talking about it as far as. Um, I mean, what do we want to start first? There's a few angles we wanted to talk about this situation. What do you yeah. want to start? I mean, one, but uh, rest in peace, rest in power, the Nipsey Hustle man. Um, great, a great representation of what you could come from and what you could change the neighborhood to be. Yeah. Uh, great philanthropist, uh, really great, well-spoken businessman that was doing shit grassroots himself. Um, I think the first place we gotta talk about is in regards to this shit is just <coughs> envy is a bitch. Yeah. This is all envy, bro. Like, there's nothing from this shit that said nothing deserved to be like this. This jealousy is jealousy and fucking envy. envy. And it seems like how can somebody? All those things that you said is true about him. Yeah. He could just be gone, taken away by. I think that's what the feeling is too. By somebody who doesn't even, not even close to Adam, yeah. to, to the kind of same, same person that he was. I think that's the way the weird feeling comes from too. It's like it shouldn't have happened. No. It's like that energy of like, it doesn't need to be like this. Why did it happen? And it's like, I'll be honest with you, the guy going to jail isn't as important to me as finding out why. Like, what really made you do it? Like you, you said it. Mm-hmm. You know, people have been getting, people have been acting out from envy and jealousy, right. and, and since the beginning of the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, mm-hmm. I mean, we just he's a he's a celebrity, so we hear about it. But yeah. it's people that are getting murdered every day, right? From from envy, from, from jealousy. jealousy. But deeper than that, I think the issue is, you hear a lot of people saying is like, is this gonna change people's minds mindset on? giving back to the hood and being in the hood and, you know, being so accessible and just yeah. being so, just the fact that he could even be, you know, touched because mm-hmm. he was just, he was comfortable. That's where he was. That's what, That was home. He was home. I was home. And I think, you know, in today's society, we deal with a lot of stuff. We deal with, like, anxiety and drama. And what we always want to feel, we always feel comfortable in a space that we call home or Definitely. a space that we feel safe. And it's crazy to think of in a space where he feels safe, where he had his own business, his own company, where he felt comfortable at, that something like that happened. I know. And I mean, it's, 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 it's a weird I feel space. like, I, well, as we talk about this, I feel like I'm not going to make sense because it's just hard to make. It doesn't make sense. Make it make it sense. doesn't make sense. So it's just, but we're just, we're just, we're just trying to make sense of it. Let's um, touch on the little details. Um, unfortunately, on Sunday afternoon in, uh, around, in, uh, Southern California, Nipsey Hussle was shot and murdered uh, in front of his marathon store. Uh, the suspect's name is Eric Holder. Um, they said he shot him six times, also shot and injured two other people. Uh, in regards to it, they did capture Eric Holder after he was trying to check himself into a mental, a mental institution, which I get, I see the play already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insanity. Gonna play the insanity role, which is and then, bullshit. And, then this, and this dude is, is, is representing him now? Yeah, the Chris Darden, who, if anyone knows who Chris Darden is, he was the prosecutor for O.J. Simpson. Uh, he was actually the person against O.J. System in, yeah. in Simpson in the O.J. Simpson trial. And first of all, that got my head fucked up. Cause I'm first of all, why are you even still practicing law? Oh. That shit was like 30 years ago. Exactly. And then, two, you want to be on this side? That That's doesn't... Crazy. That, to me... I mean, I get it. Lawyers have jobs they have to do. Some people have to defend people they don't really want to defend. Unfortunately, yeah, but he, this is not a job he has to do. He doesn't. He's not a he young didn't have to take it. To no, name. you've been doing this for at least 30, 40 plus years. Why did you take this case? So and the dude plead not guilty, Eric Holder. So you on camera? You on camera? 
and we haven't even seen the footage from the marathon store angle, so you're on camera. So we're all, we're jumping all over the place. Yeah. Bear with us because um, it's just a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. So, like we said, as far as why we don't know why this guy. And listen, besides mm -hmm. being just a, a envious motherfucker, and we don't know, he he could have some fucking mental issues to do yeah. some shit like that. For, for come in, what's the what's the issue? Like what, what's what's the issue to do something like that? Yeah, like I can't. I think it shows this. I think this whole situation shows a lot of issues. I think we have in today's society. <clears throat> One, if it is said to believe that, I guess that he came up, introduced himself to Nip as an artist, and I guess he might want to do something with Nipsey. And Nipsey yeah. said that you know, in this community right now, you kind of seen as a snitch. And you know, right now your perception ain't really. That's one thing I heard. Yeah, your perception ain't really, you know, we're up to par, and I can't really attach myself. And you're saying the day of, right? Yeah, this had happened like right before the whole shooting, like before he shot him, and he was like, you know, this basically was just like, you know, I can't really, you know, we can't mingle like that yeah. because one, what I associate. represent, and two, what they associate you with. He but, wasn't. Um, he didn't I, but I also heard them. that he knew him. Yeah, he's from their gang. So it wasn't like he had to He's from the same himself. set, same neighborhood. Like, he yeah. just trying to say, you know, I'm a, I'm a musician. But, you know, I'm trying to do music now. You know, can we do something? And Nip was just like, hey, right now, it's not something that can be done. So what are, you, what are your thoughts on... I feel like one that's... Rapper still being in the hood, though, like, as far as... I've been over it. I've been over it. I don't understand it. Like, I, I get it. In Nipsey's case, I get it because... You trying to better your neighborhood? You buying your block back? You buying that? You inter you you're being an entrepreneur. You're you're basically employing people and yeah. you're trying to help their lives. On that note, I get it. If you just in the hood, to chill in the hood, Hanging I don't out get it. Night, yeah. I don't get it. You have more. I get it. You still want to be connected to where you're from, but you have way more to lose. On a situation like this, what happened to Nipsey could have happened to anybody yeah. else in any other and it does happen region. to people every yeah day. That's, it does that's, that's, i mean let's be real we don't hear about every situation i mean hate but. to say it legit x was in his hometown just going to buy a motorcycle and yep. got robbed and shot pretty much um there was this rapper in pittsburgh that got signed by woods Cleef for uh jimmy pop uh chapo or jimmy Popo. he got killed the same day as x just in his neighborhood in mm -hmm. his area People get killed in the area all the time. Jam Master J got killed in Queens. Chinks got killed in New York. Yep. Stax got killed in Far Rockaway. Yep. Like I. Big L got shot. Yeah, in Big L. And then people be like, "Oh, you know, when they make money, they leave. They don't come back." Well, this is why y'all kill. So how you feel now? Is it, are you leaving the hood? I, listen, first of all, let's be real. Brooklyn, my hood is no longer what it was. True. My hood is full. It's already been gentrified. So, okay. and unfortunately, but I've wanted to do that. I've always thought if I ever made it big or ever made a lot of money, I always wanted to put like a rec center or some shit back with my hood, like when it was a hood. These yeah. Kids, you know, need <clears throat> places to go. I always wanted to do a rec center. But now what is it? Now that shit is like gentrified cul-de-sac. Like mm. people jogging with like a whole bunch of goddamn fruit bars and <laughs> juice bars everywhere. So it's like, I don't even know how I feel about it. Christy, you want to like chime that. in that? Chime in on on as far as being leaving the hood or rappers, and not even just rappers, just famous people. It possesses you. Yeah, because I mean, you, you fuck Yeah. Like, and, ah, and I've been wanting to say this for a while, but somebody's success should not fuck with you, how you feel about yourself. That's a weird ass insecurity. And people, and people that you know, like your friends. Like yeah. Like, well, it's always going to be the like people closest over, to you. Yeah. Like you but it's like, if listen, I worked this hard, I sacrificed this much, and I did this much to get here. Maybe one, you might not be built for that shit. Two, you might not be able to do the same sacrifices or willing yeah. to do them. And three, I'm willing to go out there and fish and get my shit. Are you willing to still do that? Or you want to be fed? Some people want to be fed. Some exactly. people don't want to fish for their own fucking food. Okay. So it's like, 
honestly, you shouldn't be ripping down another person because, oh, they got this or they do shit this way. You shouldn't do that. And it's like, it's a sad shit to see. But this is also a thing where I'm just like, if you're trying to better the hood, you, I, his, I think at the marathon store was so already ran, he didn't need to do it. True. To be there. But also, when you hear about the other story about why he was there that day, it makes it even more stomach nodding and turning because he was there because a friend got out of jail and he was going there to get him some clothes and see him yeah. in that I mean, like, neighborhood. Like you said, he always did the right thing. He did, yeah. he did it the right he way. He made himself accessible. Yeah. He didn't even but tell the security that he was we, going out there. But that's what, that's what we're asking now. Is, mm-hmm. Was he too accessible? I think so. I think sometimes you don't understand. I think sometimes... I feel like this happens to everybody. Sometimes you get caught in your own bubble. You don't even understand what you do. But you don't underestimate the yeah. think that people will oh, they don't love everybody's cool. There's always somebody here. There's mm-hmm. always somebody. And you see, he didn't even have his guards there. Yeah. Like, he did. They didn't know he left. They didn't know he like, was you're out. you're no longer a regular person. You have to have some type of protection. Like, that's just how it is. You're I think... Guy, but you came along a walk. Did mm-hmm. you don't think Jay-Z walking in March? Hell Friday? no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But there will be people like, fuck that nigga. I, you know, it's not his Of course. Yeah. Yeah. And it's fucked up. And the crazy cool. thing about it is it's like also sometimes sometimes I think we sometimes we don't really pay attention to what we do who we are. Like sometimes you have to be honest with yourself. Like <coughs> was Nipsey rap rap star wise the biggest rap star in the world? No. But at the same time, successful, you are one of the most successful people. And in that lane where he was, where he was, yeah. As far as fame, yeah, he. You are the most. You, you are know, one of the most famous the biggest, and the know. most accessible. Like, definitely. But like people, like he might have been seen as one of the top West Coast artists. Like, that so you're up there in that area with like the Kendricks and stuff. But we can touch you. Exactly. And it's crazy because. You don't. If Kendrick's around, you probably you you. First of all, we don't even know what Kendrick do with his life until yeah. an album comes out. <laughs> exactly. So it's like, but, but Nipsey, he is. yeah, we don't know what. But Nipsey was so accessible and touchable for everybody. Yeah. And it was just like, it's a beautiful thing. But then at the same time, the, that beautiful thing has an ugly side to it, which is that <laughs> people want to take advantage of that, and that's some fuckery, man. I want to flip it a little bit, just because I mean, mm. we could go on for days. Word. With that. It's just. It's still a developing thing. It hasn't even been a week. Every day. Because no, it's been feeds. like five days and that shit. But like, so, but one thing I am noticing and speaking of on my feed that I want us to address, being that we are an art podcast, I think people have to be careful with clout chasing, though. Artists, I'm yep. talking about. <clears throat> I, I get it. Um, we do want to show appreciation. Mm-hmm. We want to honor people. But I feel like when it's this soon... Your, I don't know. Your objective could is missing. Be, yeah, it's just like it's a little questionable when it's this soon. It's yeah. like let some time pass. You know, you always could do a legend. Nobody would ever say anything if you painted Bob Marley, if you painted yeah. um, anybody to be. But it's just yeah. the fact that it just happened, and it could it could look like you're just trying to get exposure for your talent. It, and I'm not saying everybody is. I'm not. I don't want people to certain people to take that the wrong right. the wrong way. Because everybody, that might not be the intentions, but I no. think sometimes we have to take a sit back and just look at the situation. Yeah. And see, like, you know, maybe should we just wait it out for a little while? And, right. And, and you ha- there's always time to do that. Because guess what? He's gone now. So at the end of the day, he will always be, he will always be this memory now. Yeah. Always and he's this. in that echelon now. There's plenty of time to do that. Yeah. I think well, some honestly, people are just cloud chasing. I honestly. We could talk about it. Like I'm not somebody who's, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm never one for tearing down somebody's bag. I'm not going to stop you from getting your money, but I'll call out some bullshit when I see it. Yeah. To me, I get it. People are posting uh, portraits and things of that nature, and you know, I'm not saying no one has the right to honor someone. You have the right to do it in your own creative expression. My whole thing is, at the same point. The funeral services haven't even been planned for this man. Exactly. The funeral services haven't been planned for this man yet. His family's still going through that. This I shit, get this, it. This part of the story we still finding out. We still ain't even got the full story. We really technically don't even have the full story. We don't even have another camera angle of the footage, mm-hmm. surveillance-wise. My whole thing with it is this. If you doing it, 
whatever you if, you if you're doing it i would hope it's not for some profit if you're doing, doing it for profit, I have a big. It just, it's just like you're capitalizing on someone's death. You are. It is you're capitalizing on someone's death. If you also, want to, I'm sorry, I gotta say it. Nah, I, I don't want to see a Nipsey Hustle fucking art show. No. This month. Oh, no, it's too soon, bro. Nah, I don't want to see a Nipsey Hustle no, art show this month. It's too soon. It's Way just too weird. Soon. I don't know. I mean, then and if you are gonna do it. I mean, shit. It gotta be free. Wait till his mur- wait till his birthday. His birthday's in August. Do it in the summertime. <laughs> exactly. Or if you doing you, it, it should go to from it. Too Big to Fail. Profit should go to Too Big to Fail, which is Nipsey's, Nipsey's oh, foundation. Do that. If you if anybody's already doing some shit out there, but it's, the, the internet's big out there. Mm-hmm. If you already doing shit, then you better. If you're doing it for profit, you shouldn't be. And if you are, you better be. Giving those proceeds to the right places. That's all I'm saying. And here's my thing with it. Or she just being a culture vulture. I feel like beyond the vulture shit, I feel like everybody, and we get too big into this, and I feel like bag. this is artists. We get, especially today's artists. Everybody wants to capitalize in that white hot space so bad and get in that hot space and get hot. That white and it's like, hot spot. Like, <laughs> like, you're going to be trying- a big shot. Don't you <laughs> fuck out of here. Y'all niggas can't be But no, they me. trying to capitalize on that white space and get hot so fast that sometimes it's just like some stuff aren't in good taste. You just gotta That's you know, some fucked up just, taste. It's weird taste. To me, it's like Who's getting up a bunch of Nipsey Hustle Payton's last minute? Like people's more like come on man. Y'all yeah. bugging the fuck out. I can't imagine that stuff because it's just like imagine yourself in the shoes of the people close to him. Not everybody feels good about that. Yeah, I mean you Common sense. I don't even think you have to even think that far just to know it's not right. Well, common sense ain't common. Exactly. <laughs> common sense ain't said. common. You gotta remember that. So it's like decency, common sense ain't. Stop common. clout chasing out here. Like let let the moment be what it like, is. Like I respect the people who say I wasn't necessarily a fan, but I respected the man he was. I respect that a lot. Well, I'm I'm hearing most. I mean, let's be real. He wasn't a person who had like a string of hit records. So most yeah. people are saying, yo, we kind of fucked with him for who, who he it was. was. It was beyond just his music. Yeah. Um, I listened to some of his music. I'm not going to say I listen to every project, but it, it, I didn't have to. It was about his interviews. It was yeah. about his, his business plans, his mm-hmm. his just overall message. His you know? music I got introduced. Like, I first found out about him through the freshman cover, the Double XL. Yeah. And then like every time something would come up with him, I'd take a listen. And then some stuff I'd be a fan of, and I'm just growing That's a good segue. It. So we're going to recap off that. Mm. Stop fucking clout chasing, y'all. Word. If y'all artists, you know right from wrong, motherfucker. And stop profiting. Don't be making no fucking clothes and shirts and cards. Stop I've seen a fucking that. Nipsey Hustle R.I.P. card. You a sick motherfucker. So, <laughs> you sick bastard. Sick that shit is fucking fucked up. That Christy, what you think about that shit? Wrong. Uh-oh, she's serious. Like, <laughs> I mean, if it's for the right reasons, like you get that money. Here's my thing. But the same month, it just happened. Maybe in L.A. where he's from, Fuck but it might make sense. Nigga, it's been five days. He's been dead <laughs> five days. <laughs> he's been dead five. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's not a good look. And then here's my thing. If you want to get, if you want to in some way, prop, go online, the Marathon store. Go buy some shit. Buy some shit. Go do that. A lot of people have been buying some shit. Play his music. His streams go straight directly to him because yeah. he owns the Masters. Do that. Yeah, it's I just don't feel right with profiting off of some shit like this. Y'all know that's the fucked up. Give people your flowers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. give me my flowers on the line. Don't give me my fucking flowers when I'm gone. People never get the flowers, but they can still smell them. If you love, if you appreciate someone, you should go ahead and tell them. Yeah. Ah, uh, baby, you was thinking about me? No. Ah, a word? I'm joking. I, but yeah, it's just tough. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm hangry. Like, <laughs> hangry. Not going anywhere yeah, for a while? So listen, let's go to a... We're going we're gonna to end off this uh, mm-hmm. convo. Well, mm-hmm. let's talk about it. Where does this place... Like, I'm sorry, like, the love yeah. he is getting, Yeah. you really, if you didn't realize it while he was here, you are seeing 
the mark he he left on this planet yeah because of love i mean people people get killed and this does stuff seems different like right you know what i mean so this stuff is different where does this place nipsey hustle like with overall legacy like i would put him in the west coast on the on the pop yeah like i don't i think pop was already seen as the highest and i think nipsey's like right there and yeah. I think the reason why Nipsey's right here, the one main thing is a lot of stuff Pac talk about in the community, Nipsey did. True. He did. He brought Tupac businesses. didn't get a chance to do. Yes. But he did all that. Oh, just a random thought. If you artists want to do shit, go try to get murals done. That's something positive. Word. Go get some Nipsey murals done. Or That's contact the people like Black Sam and the people at the Marathon store. Just contact them. Well, give them some time. They're grieving, Because he was obviously. very well-versed on who to contact. Well, I've been... I've always appreciated in all that stuff, and I've always looked into him. I He motivated me with my business yeah. in regards to take stuff serious. So I always pay attention to people around him. So my thing is, if you want to do something that is in honor of him, contact these people first. Before you go do anything, the Karen yeah. Civils, the Black Sams, all these people, Karen Civil was his man, like his manager. Yeah, Contact yeah. them. Yeah. But I'm don't just to get you do back it. into that. I, I was but, just... but and it comes down to his legacy. He's he's gonna be under pop. Like he's going to his legacy isn't gonna be the music, but it's gonna be his community. But then we also impact. we also spoke about it. Is Victory Lap now instant classic? Yes. It, it goes into the classic category because it doesn't even sound the same. Like, I've been doing nothing but listening to him since everything. Like, when I found out I was at home, I was just listening. I I was listening to I listen to him sometimes just chilling in the house. Yeah. And Now, you you definitely yeah. listen. I know we, when the yeah. album came out, we Yeah, we I had it in my top it. three for the year. Yeah. And I was just listening to music, and then I saw it. And it messed with me. And then that night, I couldn't really stomach to listen to it. Yeah. But then it was like, okay, I'm doing one of my two jobs, and I'm just listening to Victory Lap. That's usually my thing to get me through my work. Okay. It's just like, all right. And it sounds different. different. Now, everybody's going to go dissect every word differently. Um, yeah. It's going to sound prophetic. You know? It is. I mean, he said the, the first lines on the album, prolific, so gifted. Yeah. I'm the type to go get it. <laughs> like he legit. Yeah. That's how he starts off the album. Like Word. that album has, and it's so crazy because it plays out like a movie. So like, if they was to ever do a movie about his life, just play that fucking album. Chris, are you gonna go check that album? You never really, heard, you never really listened to any of his stuff, right? So you don't have to feel bad about that. It's not a bad thing. I know a lot of people that don't, uh, that didn't, that just knew him. Go check out Victory Lap, the, the last album. I mean, it happens. Listen, a lot of people have... Listen, let's be real. A lot of people got into people's music once they were gone. Yeah. So, listen. At the end of the day, we're going to close off. We don't... We don't you know, we're not going to hop on it too much. We're going to no. try to just think about the positive things as far as, like, what he did mm -hmm. and what he left behind. As artists, he's still an artist, whether music or visual. As an artist, you could hope to leave something behind when you go. And at the end of the day, that he did. Yep. So... We'll, we'll be impact. talking about this. Like we can't just um, answer that fully. Nah. That this is going to be an instant classic. But I think it's a good way to intro it, and we'll definitely revisit it. I definitely think it raises into that rafters of classic yeah. albums. It definitely is in that rafters. Cause you know what I always ask people: if life after death came and Big was still alive, do you feel like life after death would still have that same impact? I do, but don't get me started on on, on this one. We'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> We just want to thank people for riding with us. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to talk about this because usually we like to just talk our shit yeah. and be silly. Word. But um, we wanted to just, you know, this is a serious matter. Yeah. And we kind of wanted to just to take time and just really talk about this. But, um, you know, stay tuned and we'll be talking about more fuckery. But um, of course. You get a last, last um, RIP moment of silence for Nipsey Hussle before we, we out of here.